Hey, Daniel here from Modern Man Mindset. You see, Mike, I can do it myself. At least I'm trying something new every day. Yeah, you're still up to no good. Hey, everyone. Today is the third day of my 100 day vlog challenge and I'm really happy that it's going well so far. And it means that I've actually completed 3% up till now. Yes. Today I want to talk about some achievements that we have seen throughout the history and that we hold in really high regard. For instance, Neil Armstrong was the first man to walk the moon. And if we think of a, such a person, then we may think that this person kind of was born awesome. Or as if Neil Armstrong, when he was born, he came out in a little astronaut suit, ready to go to the moon. Or when Einstein was born, he started talking general relativity to the nurses. Of course, those things do not happen like that and it can take many many years of practice and repetition and persistence before they get to a certain level but of course each one of us has to work on their own goals and this happens behind uh, the scene we don't see this we're not aware of the hard work everyone is putting in and so when someone finally achieves something we often say oh that's success overnight in like 99.99% of the cases this really is nonsense because people have been working so hard for such a long time but we're just not aware of this I think this is really important if you have a specific goal in mind that you would like to achieve or, or a certain dream then it's really important and realistic to be aware of how other people achieve their big goals of course it's a little bit of a cliche but if you take for instance uh, JK Rowling with her book she got rejected so many times and now it's a, it's a huge hit across the world. Or if you take Michael Jordan, when he first tried to get into a team, he was also not picked. And he just used that as motivation to work even harder and he said, I'm going to prove the world wrong and I'm going to show that, that I really do have what it takes and I'll get there, I'll make it. Now I'm talking a bit about the extremes here of course, the big goals, the big names and what they have achieved but of course this principle also applies to the smaller goals in our lives. So I can remember clearly as a teenager that I was feeling very low in energy and I have a really hard time just getting things done and it was just a big mess back then. Oh that poor boy sitting there all day long thinking how do I get out of this Thanks, Mike. But it's really hard to explain or convey the feeling that you get when you leave behind an old image of yourself. And this really applies to every, everything. If you want to lose some body fat, or if you would like to start working out more, or if you would like to get another position in, at your work, or if you would like to get a new job, this always applies. You have this old image of yourself, these, these beliefs like, this is what I am like. And then suddenly, if you slowly but surely work on on that image on your beliefs and you keep nudging yourself to a new image a new position then at some point suddenly it's like you find this magic little door in your mind and you crawl through it and the world is never the same again after that you're in a whole new world of thought you just totally think differently about yourself you view yourself differently so I'm really curious, what is your goal? Is there a certain image of yourself that you would like to work towards? And do you have any experiences with already making that shift? A tremendous amount of people aren't aware of the fact that you can change on such a fundamental level. I like to think of it as going on a big adventure and diving into the rabbit hole and seeing where you end up. Yes, like Lord of the Rings, Mike. Yes, exactly. Thank you. I'm really curious what you have experienced and whether you have made any big leaps. So please do let me know. And I'm looking forward to talking with you tomorrow. All right. Take care.